Hello, so today I've encountered a really interesting topic and problem uh, made on Power Users Forum by a user PM4698. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Uh, that is a problem with a show columns function and the fact that it can bring only literal values. So let me show you something. I'm on the SharePoint list, which is created in Power Apps, and the user wants to only limit the columns which are shown based on the selection of the user. So this is the, if I select nothing, then no columns will be shown. And if I select something, then the column will be shown. So this is really a problem because show columns in in Power Apps only can accept uh, only can accept literal value, so only can accept text. But if I want to place any kind of variable there, then I will receive an error that argument uh -huh, is invalid and that the expected value is a text literal. So I cannot use any kind of list or any kind of collection as an argument in order to show columns. I have to create some kind of workaround. And let me show workaround which I've created because this is something I've, uh, I've uh, think about for a lot of time. And I think I found the solution, which is ob obviously it's not optimal because uh, there are certain limitations and I don't know if you can create any better solution. If yes, I will gladly hear it, but this is my solution. First of all, we are not using collections. We will be using a list, a list which will, uh, this cannot be dynamically created based on SharePoint column names because there, there cannot be collection in which we can grab this data. We have to type it by hand. So we, in order to know that we are correct uh, with a SharePoint, we will have to update the, the names constantly. There, there is no other choice I know. We cannot grab only the, the SharePoint uh, column names. So, but if we have those column, column names and if they are, if they are already same as in the SharePoint list that we know. So first of all, we have a title, then ID, then choice one. This is the, the exact, uh, this is the exact order in which I have them in SharePoint. Then I can simulate the SharePoint functionality. If I press and, and click any of those columns, then I will, I will show this on my gallery. But it's not uh, entirely a gallery because you have the labels, the labels which are describing the, the name of the SharePoint columns. And again, I found that you have to, you need to have the same number of columns that you will be using in SharePoint. So this is a solution which is not suitable for a large SharePoint list or any other large data source. You can have some, but in order to have any of those, you will have to create the label for each of them. And in this label, first of all, what you need to do is you need to find if this title should be even visible, because if it's not selected by the user like this, it shouldn't be visible. And to achieve this, of course, you need to have the, the visible, um, function in there. And again, we are using the, the name, which is hard coded and we check if this hard coded name is already selected by, by the user. So we are using the list box one, list box one selected items text, which will give us a table table with values. You can see the values here, choice one title, etc., And we are concatenating this to create a text, a text based on the value. And we check if the title is in that text. So we are looking just at the simple, uh, simple 
a simple string comparison and we are comparing if this string is inside this string because it will it will uh, create a string uh, see this one uh, for now it's just one title we do not care for the uh, for the position of this yet okay so we have the visibility the title will be visible and we we also copy this functionality here for the items in the our gallery to also make this visible same we will do in for each of those columns okay so then we will have visible columns but now there is also a problem with position of those columns because there is a argument which is x and this as you can see this is uh, 300 and this is 600 but if we want to show only a couple of columns then probably we would need to push other columns to the left side in order to to do not have any kind of blank space because it will be horrible ux and it is not what we are uh, what we desire so how to achieve this of course, we have to attack the x uh, property of x property of our our label, and then again, we are using the value and we are positioning this based on if this uh, if this is selected. So if this is selected, we are positioning this one in three hundred. I've just mm, assumed that we will start from here. But what about next column? Because next column, if we uh, if we would do a same exact function, then it will land in uh, in the title, and it will be uh, it will be pushed to three hundred also. So we want to for this value to check if this value is visible, and then if yes uh, then get 300 and then again 300 if this value is visible so again for each subsequent column uh, it will be a larger function right so uh, you have to understand this limitation if if it's okay if, with you if you have for example I don't know 10 columns then it's probably okay and you want to display them all in the same gallery but if you have 100 then there is no way this could do and you have to you have to push for some other uh, solution on on visibility of those columns so yeah this is the solution it's it's working great but it's it's really not that nice coding and this is just a workaround. If you know any other workarounds of this problem, I would gladly hear it because it, of course, will push my abilities forward. But this is how we do it. So, speaking of Pukowski out, if you like the content, you can subscribe, like, etc. I'm answering to a lot of Power Platform problems, so I hope that you could learn something from this. And have a great day. Have a great day, user PM4689. Did I remember that correctly? I hoped that you liked the solution. Maybe you can tweak it a little bit. See you.